Capricorn, Goat Gang, what up, though? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general message today for the sign of Capricorn, wherever that resonates at for you in your birth chart. Keep in mind, we all have a 10th house, part of our birth chart, and time and energy are fluid, so take what resonates here today. Leave the rest for someone else. These readings are timeless as well. So whenever you stumble across this message, there will be something here for you to help bring you clarity and confirmation, Cap, to help empower you to help you align with your highest timeline. Tapping into your energy today. I use this faceted garden oracle deck along with this keepers of the light oracle deck to help me catch a vibe as I'm connecting with the collective energy. Um, Y'all, it's been some major energies coming through collectively as of late. It's no different for you here, Capricorn. Um, First card to come through, we'll run through these and then we'll kind of break it down here. But Bloom, Capricorn, you get the Bloom card coming through first with the Mycelium card Next, this has been coming through collectively a lot lately as well. We have the new moon. We have the pollinator card. And we have the wreath. On the bottom of the deck over here, we have the anomaly card. Okay, so right here, I can see we're moving into this beautiful new season, right? To me, the new moon card is always a clean slate. It's always a very potent time to plant seeds. It's a new beginning. It is a portal that being out here with this wreath <clears throat> kind of the same energy of a portal but the wreaths you know wreaths also um, represent victory they also represent overcoming um, and so it looks like successfully completing a soul cycle here um, and moving into a new chapter of your soul's journey and that's exactly what this pollinator card speaks to very similar to the six of swords energy saying okay the worst of the storm is over we're kind of over that hump and now we are um, sailing to calmer waters, to new shores, right? This pollinator card is also about the pollen that we are bringing with us to this next flower, so to speak, right? What are we carrying with us as we move from this flower to the next flower? Are we carrying anything that may be weighing us down, that may, you know, mess our flight up, or that may, you know, get in the way of our pollination, so a time of release, a time of integration, a time of forward movement, a time of doors closing, slamming the doors behind us, and new doors swinging wide open, new connections, new opportunities, new situations here. And we have Joan of Arc with the voice of truth coming through first for Capricorn. It says, stand strong, focus on your purpose, release the fear of persecution, and speak your truth. We have Commander Ashtar, a call to action. Take charge, lead by example, walk your talk. And we have Mother Mary coming through as well with love and peace. This card says, let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. So maybe some of you also healing wounds around the divine feminine, mother figures, um, things like that. Bottom of the deck here, we have charity with prayer and contemplation. It says, connect with heaven, ask, and you shall receive. And with this anomaly, right, this could be a sudden turn of events. This could be a surprise, a quick shift. This could be something, like I said, sudden um, that changes the trajectory of our lives. That's exactly... The that's exactly the vibe of eclipse season usually right especially this one this is a big one so excited to see what's going to come through for capricorn today seven of pentacles justice on the bottom of the deck i am going to pray really quick feel free to join me and then we'll dive into your message holy divine mother and father Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Archangels, Ancestors, Messages for my Cappies today for their highest good. Anything Cap needs to hear, know, 
any messages that will bring them clarity and confirmation, any messages that will empower Capricorn, any messages that will bring healing, wisdom, understanding, any messages that will help Capricorn align with their highest selves, their highest timelines, their best lives. Of course, above all of that, any messages that will help Capricorn align with the highest divine will will be greatly appreciated. All praise and glory to the Most High forever and ever. Amen. Holy Spirit, what is the theme of Capricorn's message today? What's the theme of Cap's message? <clears throat> Big Hermit Energy. Hanged man coming through. It wants to be in reverse with that King of Wands justice on the bottom. So things are clicking into place for you, Capricorn. And I do see movement. For those of you that have felt stuck, for those of you that have felt like there's been no movement, I see that um, shifting at this time. So I'm hearing turning point, Hermit. This is when we go into our own energy. We go in, you know, we pull off into our own lane. We, you know, take a break from being all out there for a minute, go into our own world, and we have made it to the top of the mountain here. This is where we are overlooking the path that we've taken to get here to this place we're in now. This is also where we integrate that wisdom and we set our sights on what's next, right? That's the energy for Capricorn here is like, okay, what's next? Um, so let's dive into this tarot. Six of Wands on the bottom. What is going on with Capricorn spirit? We're going to jump it into your energy at the heart of this reading. So what's Cap's energy, please, spirit? Stepping through this portal. Eight of Cups, Four of Wands, Wheel of Fortune over there, Page of Swords. Wow, this is, we're moving in a new direction. This is Capricorn in the midst of leaving this old world behind. This is a whole entire soul cycle here, Capricorn, that you're leaving behind. This is your alignment with your next destined chapter. And this is the shift. We are in the midst of the shift welcome to eclipse season some of my caps probably seeing 11 11 some of you looking into <clears throat> maybe you've got your eye on somebody actually because i am seeing new relationships new connections coming through maybe some of you are looking into starting this new project or you're learning or you are um, studying in some way what is this for cap also an integration of the wisdom yes so wheel of fortune did come through with eight of pentacles capricorn you're working hard you are focused you are you know leaving behind anything anyone that is no longer serving you and you're stepping through this portal in badass mode you're not taking any shit capricorn okay you're definitely being divinely guided at this time this king of swords energy is um being very serious about um where we're going it's like the energy of getting our head in the game not letting any shit slide we're not letting anything slide we're speaking our truth we're internally aligned with our truth and externally aligning with our truth right unapologetically so what's the challenge right now for capricorn all of these eights um, with this anomaly, I am seeing the trajectory shifting in a big way. It's like you're truly switching lanes, changing lanes here. What's the challenge right now? Hanged man again. What's the challenge for Capricorn? Maybe a lack of movement, a lack of forward movement or a perceived lack of forward movement. Eight of wands flipped over in here. What's the challenge for Capricorn? What energies are crossing cap? Two of swords. nine of swords there's some stress some anxiety ten of wands about moving on right there's a lot of chaos it seems like around capricorn right now with the seven of wands with that being said though regardless of what's going on around you or inside of you right now capricorn seven of wands is mars in leo energy it's spirit's way of saying capricorn you have the upper ground right now 
you have the advantage. This is about holding your ground. This is the energy of drawing a line in the sand, protecting your energy, standing up for what you believe in. Like I said, internally aligned with your truth and we're not budging from that space. We're, we're holding that space. We're holding that frequency. The challenge is it looks like Capricorn stressing about where we're going moving forward, right? Maybe even some sleepless nights here with this Nine of Swords energy. It's like we're stressed, we're anxious, um, we're worried, right? And with this Ten of Wands energy, this is to me saying, Capricorn, it's okay to lighten your energetic load a bit. With the Nine of Wands, it's like you're coming through as the wounded warrior. You are a badass, Capricorn. This is the energy of keep pushing forward. We're much closer than you may think right? There's something here about making that decision, not stressing moving on Capricorn. You're being guided to move forward, to move on. You're protected. You're guided at this time. Um, spirits really coming through not to worry. You're being guided into this energy of celebration, this energy of soul family. So with this mycelium energy that's been coming through it's been coming through for everybody i feel like this is speaking to the new connections the new opportunities and the frequency of these new connections new situations tower so anything that is kind of being cleared right now capricorn anyone anything any situation any habit any energy that is being shaken up broken down broken apart at this time it is divine intervention it is a divine reason right the divine is trying to unburden you trying to lighten your load i see the fight i see the chaos spirit saying take care of yourself slow it down rest water sleep prayer meditation nature get in that garden Go build a fire. Go sit by the lake. Take a walk out in the woods. Capricorn, what's incoming for Capricorns? Cappy, this is big. This is a huge timeline shift, and that's why this feels like this. What's incoming for Go Gang? Knight of Pence, High Priestess, following your intuition, following that silent whisper. Because you're gaining this clarity. You're getting downloads, Capricorn. You are truly being divinely guided. That still small voice, those signs and synchronicities, those animals crossing your path, those songs on the radio that have been speaking to you, those times on the clock, those double digits, triple digits, uh, you know, quadruple digits. The divine is hitting you with the vision right now capricorn it's trickling through it's going to be different for that's going to look different for everybody but this vision these downloads this guidance is leading you toward your next chapter this is all about putting one foot in front of the other before it makes sense capricorn trusting that the divine truly has your back here nine of pence i see that capricorn after all you've been through pluto going through your sign since 08 all of the transformation all of the trials tribulations all of the shakeups, breakups all of the upheavals bringing you into this space of wisdom of higher consciousness of deeper understanding bringing you into this place of co-creation and attracting blessings the phoenix literally rising from the ashes capricorn i'm hearing you're on fire now is when you set the world on fire what's the advice for capricorn definitely do not ignore your intuition even if it's illogical even if it goes against what you see trust spirit at this time laser focus the vision cap the vision what's the what is the advice for capricorn strength what's the advice for capricorn there goes that infinity symbol again all of these eights coming through in your reading cap advice <clears throat> six of swords strength 
Six of Swords. Strength. Okay, so Spirit is saying about this hanged man, for those of you that have felt stuck or feeling like this is a stuck energy, there's no movement, there's something here. Spirit puts us in places for reasons. If we're stuck, there's something that we need to be looking for or seeing. There's a diamond in the rough I'm hearing. Six of swords. This is in your advice, right? First and foremost, strength. Seven of pence. Stay strong. Stay positive. Right, You see he's focused on the seeds that are planted and growing. So this is like where attention goes, energy flows. Whatever we focus on at this time is going to be charged. Right, That's what we're going to align with. Wherever our frequency is at, that's where we will be aligning with. This is about you following that higher guidance. Capricorn Spirit says the worst of the storm is over. The worst of the storm is over. It's on us to stay positive to take that wisdom that we've gained through these situations and let that light illuminate our path forward, right? What's the advice for Capricorn? Balance mind, body, spirit, self, love. Close the doors. Some of you are, are moving. Some of you are moving states, countries. Some of you are moving jobs, uh, moving houses. Moving churches, uh, religions, moving belief systems, moving into a new belief system. What's the advice? What's the advice for Capricorn? Page of Wands, man. This is all about the new, you know, king of... Okay, patience. Continue alchemizing, Capricorn. Stay strong. Continue turning that lead into gold, family. I know you got this. This is all about trusting following your intuition you see that crown above his head see that crown above my guy's head that's your crown chakra capricorn this is you amidst this chaos staying grounded staying cool calm collected and staying connected to that voice of the divine that is leading you forward in this new direction that is downloading you with new ideas that is um, activating your energetic centers so this is a, a beautiful gust of this amazing energy coming through for you Capricorn tons of guidance you're very very protected right now <clears throat> Capricorn I don't know why I feel this is the, the one of the biggest shifts you've ever experienced here this pivot point is one of the biggest pivot points of your life and you truly are turning the corner and moving toward the sun now I'm hearing it was all worth it, Capricorn. You have the tools at your disposal right now. Family, stay focused. Do not let your emotions, your insecurities, your fears, your doubt, your negative Nancy internally. Um, do not let those lower frequencies, those emotions, those energies stop you, block you, um, prohibit you from creating this life that you deserve up until this point what have we learned and how can we shine that light for ourselves and for others Capricorn you are a beacon you're the goat you made it to the top family let's grab some oracle cards your advice trust your intuition really simp it, it's simple here it's very simple. Once that guidance comes through, hold the vision, Cap. I'm going to move some of these cards right quick, clear some of these energies, and we're going to start with this uh, Shaman's Dream Oracle deck, and then we will jump into the White Light Oracle. Where are we at on time? Bang. Hermit Hanged Man as well. As you are in the midst of this portal, it may be, it may be just, you know, we may be called for some us time. Some alone time, some some you time, Capricorn, and making this about you, not in a selfish way, but I mean you and the divine. What's the message for Capricorn Spirit? 
gestation period, winter's dream. So there we are, <clears throat> hermit, desert. And then that King of Cups to me just says stay connected and stay calm, stay strong, um, regardless of how chaotic the waters get. Root down, you straight. Okay, what's the message for Capricorn Spirit? Thank you. So we have the netcaster here, which is saying your manifestations, your dreams, it's all here. Then we have the dream thief saying, Capricorn, don't fall asleep or let this opportunity pass you by. It's really here. You don't need to keep praying for it. None of that. It's here. The opportunity is here. For some of you, um, you're not realizing the opportunity for what it is because it, it doesn't look like an opportunity. Okay, let's read this dream thief. <clears throat> rejection of the path of fulfillment and refusal of the call it says the dream thief is a soft and compelling seductress her only purpose is to keep you hypnotized by comfort and sameness she wants you to tell your old stories over and over again so you do not evolve beyond them Ask yourself whether you're reverting back to the familiarity of your origin story of why you were wounded or when you were rejected. Do you talk about how your family molded you as a child without also acknowledging that you've already become someone else? Teaching from an old wound will never allow you a new adventure. Instead, bring to mind how you've already changed, remembering that you have new stories to rely and build upon. Do you want to move beyond the barrier of glass you've placed between you and your horizon? You can, and it's not difficult. Answer the call to a new adventure and drop your resistance to sailing the uncharted seas of your potential. The wind will soothe and sing the dream thief to sleep so you can wake up and move forward. You are so much more than you know, Capricorn. Now it's time to express what has lain dormant your new adventure has already begun. <clears throat> okay. This is clearing so you can align with truth, Capricorn, with your deepest truth. Grab one of these white light oracle cards. This is a deck by Elena Fairchild. Amazing messages in this deck. Spirit, what's the message for Go Gang? What's the message for Cat? Archon Berbello. What's the message for Capricorn? Thank you. Salve Paluti. 741. And the Pearl of Shadrow. So we have this sandy grit, this pressure that's forming the diamond right now. Don't fold, Capricorn. You have the upper ground. Hold the line. Literally, that's your message. It's hold the line. <clears throat> Number 35. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> Wait, 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 wait. Tune into your heart and you'll be able to find your way through any negative or toxic situation. Engage in self-healing and space clearing. Commit to regular practices that help you connect to your inner light and your light shall not be overcome by any darkness or negativity. Take the time to clean your heart and mind of negativity by focusing on the divine beings that bring your heart joy. It's appropriate for you to desire your own personal and sacred space and access it daily. We live in an age of heightened environmental, emotional, and spiritual pollution. During such a world age, it takes more work to experience clarity, purity, and originality. Often, the bulk of our challenge is simply warding off further negative influences and attempting to dislodge the toxins permeating our energy field, psychologically, physically, and emotionally. The onslaught continues with chemical toxins in foods, polluted oceans, which contaminate sea life, and the bombardment of electromagnetic ra radiation. When the technological development lacks uh, 
commensurate wisdom, such as the current case, progress contains the shadow side of harm to our planet and her creatures, including us humans. Higher beings are lovingly and faithfully working to assist the souls in their transition from fear to a love-based inner orientation and to become strong enough to ward off further negative influence and reverse the toxic culture within themselves and our world. A shift is available for hearts willing to exchange the constant battle with the with the relentless negativity for being a source of light, love, and peaceful abiding on this planet. When these hearts reside in an inner place of purity, they're able to bring unconditional love and spacious primordial wisdom into our world for the spiritual benefit of all beings. With their positive enthusiasm for the healing for all beings, they can do much good in the world. To be around such heart, hearts instills peace and relaxation, hopefulness, and vitality within the soul. <clears throat> The frequency of 741 hertz cleans things up. Solve paluti is a Latin expression which means to clear pollutants and toxins. This frequency focuses on clearing, freeing the hold of negativity, and allowing the natural way of bright, beautiful manifestation to unfold. This frequency works to clear infections and electromagnetic radiation from the body. It also attunes one to the harmonics of the quantum field. The reorganizing principle of the higher self which knows what you are and how to dislodge and disengage from that which is inauthentic and obstructive to your radiant being <clears throat> when this oracle appears in a reading it's a call to clear yourself and your space in ways that feel affirming inspiring and beautiful to you trust that no matter how much gunk the ego-driven actions of humans might generate it's no match for the power of spirit at play in willing human hearts May all such hearts join with spirit and with each other to clear and bless all of the creatures for the greatest good of all. <clears throat> the healing process for this says bring your awareness into the present moment as you ground yourself by feeling your feet connecting to the earth. Let there be a feeling of pleasant heaviness as your feet pull the energy down from your heart toward the earth. It's as if feet can discharge unwanted energies which the mother earth with her alchemical skill of transmutation can utilize as a fertilizer for new life place a hand over your heart feel your connection with yourself with the light within with the spiritual vastness that is the light within your heart see imagine feel or intend that the heart connection um, to the spiritual light is becoming stronger and more powerful as you gently tune your awareness to it. If you can relax and allow it, that intelligent inner light will begin to clear, cleanse, heal, renew, and protect you from within your cells. It'll move into all aspects of your life. You may feel this at a subtle level, but even if you feel nothing, you can trust it is happening anyway. You can further empower your process with this prayer. I call upon the pure white light for cleansing, realignment, renewal, and protection now. May I be protected from all negativities, purged from all malignant energies, and held in the sanctity of the light in all dimensions of my being. I shed and release that which obstructs my luminous and true nature through divine mercy and grace for the spiritual benefit of all beings so it is. Om, Amen, Ashe. When you're ready, ground yourself and hydrate well. And you've completed this healing process. So maybe connecting with um, 741 hertz as well for the goat gang. That will help to detox your body. It will help to detox your space. Y'all, it's time up here in the northern hemisphere for some spring cleaning. Cleaning your space. Getting rid of clothes and, and items, belongings that you no longer use that are just taking up space that remind us of the past or, or whatever it may be. Um, get that feng shui right. Reorganize. Tidy up internally and externally Eternally family and get ready because we show stepping through this portal let's grab a couple of these moonology um, cards really quick and then we'll grab a message from the divine mother not sure how long that was cut out for but hopefully not too long thank you for um stopping through and showing love capricorn i appreciate y'all so much i love y'all from the bottom of my heart um thank you 
for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for, uh, you know, taking the time to smash that thumbs up and comment, donate, all of those wonderful things, y'all. You are appreciated. Meditate and contemplate. Work through your fears. Hold your vision do not let your past hold you back. Capricorn, South Node energy. South Node's in Libra right now. There may be legal issues. There may be contracts, contractual relationships, whether business, romantic, platonic, um, or otherwise. Um, that may be significant, but it may not even be relationships, right? Don't let your past hold you back. Work through those fears and hold your vision, Capricorn. Spend some time meditating and connecting with God, with spirit. Um, and let's get it. Let's grab a message from Ma. This is the pocket-sized Kali Oracle. Divine Mother, what is the message for my Capricorn family, for the GOAT gang? What's the message for Cap? Yeah, y'all are really being called to pump the brakes to, to meditate, <clears throat> get out in nature, whatever it is. Um, through journeying within, you will gain energy, insight, and freedom from the constraints of what has been. Allow that which needs to end to do so, and you shall realize that you're not being denied but released. There's something new on the horizon for you, so honor your losses, but keep hope in your heart for what is meant to be. <clears throat> and we have Kalaratri as well. A process of profound and enduring transformation is leading you toward a powerful rebirth free from even the most persistent pains and patterns of your past. Your soul is in deep healing. Recovery can be painful, <clears throat> but you will emerge renewed and released. You are blessed to experience a quote-unquote new life within this lifetime. Capricorn, what a powerful message. What a beautiful message as you truly move on, as you truly take those lessons learned, integrated, and let those light your life up and the life and paths of others. Time to say farewell to all that was, right? And to continue moving toward that sunshine family, truly. Truly, truly, I say to you, do not stress, Capricorn. Do not worry about it. Continue learning if you got to. Take that class. Do that research. Read that book. Listen to that podcast. Take it in. Integrate it, Capricorn. Now is the time. Now is the time. When spirit says go and that light is green, family, let there be no doubt in anybody's mind the power and divinity that you are unleashing Before we tap out fully, family, we're going to take a second to take a deep cleansing breath. We're going to use our will, our intention, our imagination to draw in this divine cosmic energy, this prana. We're going to picture it as white or gold light. We're pulling that light into our body, into our aura as we take the deepest breath in we can. We're going to pause, hold the breath at the top and imagine ourselves just glowing as bright as we possibly can. Then as we release, we're going to forcefully exhale. Watching any negativity, any doubt, any anxiety, any fear, any sadness, any anger, any resentment, any lower frequencies, cap, period. We're going to watch all of that in the form of black or gray, smoke or static, leaving us so the divine can help us transmute that into this fire of spirit, into this light of understanding, wisdom, and love. So first things first, goat gang, take a deep, full breath out. Completely empty your lungs, and then we'll get this breath in. Go ahead, breathe out. <coughs> Breathe in. Hold it. Squeeze. Move a bundle. Lift that energy up your spine. Now pull it down. Lock it into your heart space. Cap. Watch yourself glowing as bright as you can. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And... Release, 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 goat gang. Again, I love y'all. Thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. I hope this message found everybody well and in great spirits. Cap, I hope you have an absolutely blessed rest of your day. And I will catch all of y'all on the next reading. Peace.